Hi everyone, this is Susan, and I am bringing you my process video that is long overdue. Um, I have to just apologize for being MIA. We've had a lot of stuff going on in our house. So, among my hip issues, so I haven't gotten those all fixed, but anyway, I'm back. And I started this video out a little different than normal. I um, never used to like show my process as picking pictures and papers, so I'm doing that. The pictures are of my grandson, Cameron, and my son, Zachary. And you'll find I don't actually use those. I can't get it to work with the kit. The kit is a kit I put together back in July for the Victoria Marie Facebook group that had a challenge. Uh, Sarah Swan and Caddy Miranda had put together this really great challenge. And it was a homemade kit from your stash. And you were to use unlimited cardstock, five pattern papers, four embellishment packs, three wood veneer, two large alphas, one small alpha, and then one product that we could just pick whatever we wanted. So this was my kit, and I never got my videos loaded because my son, who does my editing, got a different job, and it's outdoors in our Las Vegas 115-degree weather, and he was beat when he'd come home, and he'd just crash and sleep for hours and didn't leave a lot of time for editing. So not his fault. I need to learn how to do this. But anyway, that's where this has been. This is why the kit, I, I did the challenge. I even posted the kit, which you can look back on my channel and see what I chose for my, my products. And anyway, that's, that's, I'm getting it loaded now. So the paper I'm using is from Crepe Paper Poolside from last year. And I went with the grid design of my photos. And I was watching Jen Scow, and I like how she does a lot of grid design with her photos, so or grid work with her photos. So I decided I would I would do something similar. Um, again, I picked the cray paper, those cute little uh, oh triangles. Sorry, and so I'm setting that up. And the strips of paper that I'm using, that water, that was cut at about one and three quarters inch, and then the like the pool tiles, that was cut at about one and a quarter. And I'm going to break that up with like a pink. That paper, the stripe paper, is actually from October afternoon. And on the back side, it had this cute little chevroni, um, just a tiny pink strip. The mood board that they picked, which I did not have a picture of, was had a lot of turquoise and blues and pinks and like a salmon-y color. So anyway, that cut-apart sheet that I'm cutting right now, I used as one of my embellishments. Even though it's a paper, I decided because it had a lot of tags and stuff, I would use that for one of my embellishments. So, um, yeah. <laughs> now I tuck the tags in there, and I'm going to ink the edges of, of everything here shortly. I'm trying to work in that wood veneer. It's one of the three wood veneers that I'm using, and that's also from the poolside collection from Cray Paper. The chipboard sheet and that dimensional sticker off to the side, those were all part of my embellishment packs, my four embellishment packs. And then the rubber stickers from, I think it was Amy Tangerine. But I don't think I used any of the rubber stickers. I couldn't get it to work. Now, I picked up a great tip. Watching YouTube has probably been one of the best things I have ever done. Because those tags, maybe even a year or two ago, I would have left the tags as is and wasted the whole bottoms. Because I've been watching a lot of YouTube, I've gained so much. I, I used to, I guess I was a waster. <laughs> I wasted so much product. I left doilies whole. I left tags whole. I never thought, or even florals, I never thought to cut them in half and use the other half elsewhere. So watching YouTube videos has really helped my scrapbooking come along. And I'm thrilled with it. Like, I have so many favorite scrapbookers, I could, um, YouTubers, that I couldn't even begin to tell everybody, every, you know, all the names. But just know that I watch a lot of YouTube, and I've picked up many tips. The fun foam on the back of my photos, that's one. I never even thought about that. I've always used dimensionals, and I go through dimensionals or, uh, you know, the foam tape a lot. Just trying to pop, pop up everything. But the fun foam, that was that was genius. You know, talk about not, you could get a lot of ground covered, and it's not very expensive. See, there's the fun foam. Anyway, so I cut those tags in half, and so I tucked the tags at the top, 
And then I'm going to use those other little pieces, like down at the bottom, where I put that little yellow sunshine from the chipboard paper, uh, from the chipboard sheet. That's where I'm going to put those other little tags, the, the other side of the tags. I just think that's such a genius idea. I don't know why I never thought of it. So the little gold arrows are from the chipboard sheet, and I really like that. And see, there I am. I'm putting the tags down at the bottom, and nothing has gone to waste. And I love that. I just, gosh, I was such a wasteful scrapbooker. And now, because of all of the YouTube people I watched, I'm not. Anyway, there's part of my two thickers that I used, and I love that I'm getting the gold... I'm putting the gold in, in three different places so it gets that triangular effect. Now the little tiny letter stickers that I'm using are from October Afternoon, the Daily Flash. They're the gray. That's like a soft gray. And I love those as well. I've got a, quite a collection of those October Afternoon stickers and I never seem to use them. And I don't know why because I love them. But I putting the gold up at the top and then I'm going to put pool down below the pictures. So that gives me three areas where the gold is going to be. The one thing I didn't do was put two other spots where the the yellow was going to go. But I fixed that with enamel dots, which was you know, kind of lame, but at least it worked, right? So I put the the uh in the in the center, but I didn't like how that looked. So you'll see later on I actually pop it up and we'll fix that. Um, but it's gonna. My title is "Staying Cool in the Pool," which is kind of generic. And um, oh, you'll hear my dogs barking. Sorry, <laughs> my grandson was gonna come pay me a visit, but I told her give me two minutes. Anyway, so I'm gonna use that one wood veneer sun up in the corner. I was going to say, I did this page back in July. Like the first week of July I did it. So it's been quite a, quite a while and it's already been put in a book. So anyway, as you can see that in the, I decided I didn't like it just sitting on the photos. So, and I knew I wasn't going to do that. I just couldn't deal with it right then and there. So what I did was um, I just cut a little circle with one of my punches and then I put the in the there. See, there goes the yellow. I put the yellow enamel dot at the top. I put one down near the other tags. That way it gives me yellow in three different spots. So I watch a lot of Irit, and Irit has done the outlining. I used to outline when I started scrapbooking. My son, who is now 21, was only a year old. And outlining was a big thing. I'm so glad to have it come back. I love it. I love stitching, but I love outlining a lot too. So Irit I saw her do it once and I thought, yes, I love that type of thing. <laughs> Outlining. It's so cool. Anyway, um, now I'm testing what color of mist I want. And I really like doing the, the mist where you tap it. That's new to me too. I haven't done a lot of that. I try, but I'm not so great at it. But I'm getting better. So anyway, I thank you all so very much for... Um, being patient and staying with me. I will be doing more and more videos. I do want to do my Take 5 Tuesday and I want to get back to my Felicity Friday and then I would like to do other videos. So now that I'm going to be taught how to edit, I can do it myself. Please like and subscribe and leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Remember, I'm still doing my 300 subscriber giveaway. I am at 266, I think, or 267. And the minute I get... 300, we are going to do a giveaway. Thanks. Bye.